Here with Chase Randall after very successful double duty night in Knoxville. He qualified 27th in the Beaver number 12 car and ended up with an 11th place finish, I think, uh, and then second in the 360, obviously. But what was it like to, you know, usually you time in really poorly, the night's going to go downhill from there, but you turned it around and went through the field tonight. Yeah, you know, Knoxville being so tough tough on qualifying here with the points and how kind of everything works out, you, you really put yourself in a hole whenever you qualify, not, not very good. And, uh, I just, you know, I just told, my, told myself, you know, we're not going to give up and we're going to do the best we can in this car and, and learn as much as we can tonight and make, you know, just use, use it to our advantage and, uh, you know, kind of kind of worked out. We kind of learned some, some stuff in traffic and, and dirty air and it makes me need to know for next time, but uh, we made a lot of progress tonight and I was really proud of, you know, kind of how we did and uh, we just stuff we carry next week. And there's a lot of people here older than you that... Everybody's would, older than him. <laughs> <laughs> that would like to do that uh, anytime they time in poorly. What's different about you as an 18-year-old that you can turn a bad night like that into a good one, at least tonight? You just can't give up, like I said. You know, you just got to take everything as you can get it. Uh, you don't you don't let one race kind of bring you down. You got to just kind of look forward to that next one and, and just keep yourself going. It's, you know, it's a lot a lot of mental stuff out here. I've been doing a lot of work this offseason and currently, you know, my mental game. And it's, it's really big in, in this sport and, you know, it kind of helps out whenever you have some stuff like that that happens. To, in the beginning, you, took, you know, kind of dig yourself out of the hole. Um, but, you know, all in all, a good night. Like you said, double duty. We're in second and 360 again. So, uh, not the points that we want or the finish we want, but, you know, we're here to win a championship. And, you know, these, these solid nights, just will do that. And Jamie Ball just tagged in and interrupted me. But he kind of compared you guys to F1 earlier. He said you and Reitzel are the top two in the 360 class and nothing else touches it. Would you agree with that? I don't know. Right. I mean, right now it is. But we're just, we're just dialed in with our setup right now. But, you know. Um, he's doing really, Wrightson's doing really well with his stuff, so um, we're going to go back to the drawing board and see if we can you know, make that make the car a little better, um, see if we can beat, top him off. Then future weeks, are you going to try to double duty every night here? I don't every know, night that you can? I don't know about every night, but you know, majority, we're going to just get as many laps here as we can and just, just learn this car. It's a brand new race car behind me, first night on it, brand new team, so any nights we can get it will help out and you know, build, to that, build to that win. Can you learn the same things in this car that you did in the 2KS? Does it, is there a comparison there, um, or is it similar. all just new car stuff? It's, it's similar. All the, all the cars are, are relatively close these days, but there's some small, minute changes, you know, a few setup changes, but um, it's just a race car is a race car, and you just got to learn as much as you can while you're in it.